uh, you respond to these by, by faith in God's grace, right? Do you acknowledge yourselves to be sinners in the sight of God, justly deserving His displeasure and without hope, except in His sovereign mercy? Do you? Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God and Savior of sinners? And do you receive and rest upon Him alone for salvation as He's offered in the Gospel? Do you? Do you now resolve and promise in humble reliance upon the grace of the Holy Spirit that you will endeavor to live as becomes the followers of Christ? Do you promise to support the church in its worship and work to the best of your ability? And finally, do you submit yourselves to the government and discipline of the church and promise to study its purity and its peace? Now, which is a promise, special kind of promise to God, uh, that you believe in the gospel, that you are trusting in Jesus, and that you want to be part of His people. Those vows are very important. But there's something that's even more important. Because God has made an oath. And that means that God has taken upon Himself a, a very special promise to you. And this water of baptism points to God's oath. And His oath is that He will be your God forever and ever and ever. That He will forgive you, that He will cleanse you, that He will love you, that He will be with you, not only in this life, which is wonderful, but in the life to come. So you remember your vows, but first you remember God's oath. And this water points to that, that that oath will never fade away, will never disappear. Okay? James Preston Edge, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May the grace of the triune God abide with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. So let's uh, pray together. <clears throat> Father, we thank you that your kingdom has come and you are revealing yourself to the nations. You're calling a people out of every tongue, tribe, and nation. And we thank you that we have a picture of that here this morning. That your spirit is moving and working and converting people. Father, we thank you for the gift of your church, the visible church upon which we're nurtured. And Father, we're thankful for the work of your Holy Spirit. When we're baptized with water, we're entered into the visible church. But uh, Lord, when we're baptized your spirit, by your spirit, we're entered into the kingdom of God. And Father, we thank you for what you have done in these, uh, our brother and sister, brothers and sisters' lives. And pray your continued work in them and through them. Father, that we all together, corporately, as members of this body here at Redeemer, along with other churches that are faithful to the gospel, that we would bear your image. And that we would show forth the light of the gospel. That we would be salt and light in a world that is so uh, in need of genuine Christians looking to Christ alone as their only hope of salvation. And so, Lord, we rejoice today. And we ask these things in your name. Amen.